Hi, I'm Chris Urquhart, publisher of Natural Awakenings Magazine, and I'm here today with Katie Ainsley of Thermography of Brevard. She's the owner and certified clinical, clinical thermographer. Thank you for joining me today, Katie. Hi, Chris. Thank you so much for having me. So, Katie, thermography isn't just a business for you. It's your passion, right? Can you share a little bit about what led you to thermography? Yes, it definitely is my passion. So I am a eight year breast cancer survivor. I was diagnosed at the young age of 33 without any family history and really without any, any explanation. And so after I finished my treatment and went through all the surgeries and chemo and um, everything to cure the cancer, I realized that there needs to be a better way. We need to be preventing cancer, not treating it. And that's when I learned about thermography. I was really drawn to it because of the prevention factor, realizing that this can detect breast cancer cells so much earlier than other screening tools. And if you give someone the time to reverse disease and they can actually prevent it. So I was very drawn to thermography. And at the time, there was not any other thermographers in our area. Um, that was eight years ago. And I thought, we need to bring this to Brevard County. This is something that is needed here. So that's what started my journey. And um, eventually, over time, thermography at Brevard came into fruition. So how is thermography different than a uh, mammogram? They are completely different screening tools. Thermography is not looking for a structure. A mammogram is looking for a structure. Thermography looks at the physiological changes in the breast, and they can tell by increased cellular activity, increased blood flow, and angiogenesis. Angiogenesis is the new formation of blood vessels. Breast cancer cells need to be supplied. They need the food to feed it. And basically the food, the food is the blood and the blood supply going there will help increase those cancer cells to multiply and double and circulate. And that's what thermography is detecting. So it's detecting it at the earliest stages, the cellular changes, the increased vascularity, and the physiological changes in the breast. It's not looking for a tumor, it's not looking for a structure, it's looking at the physiological changes. A mammogram is looking for a structure. So it's looking for a mass, a tumor, a calcification, um, cysts, something that is already there, that can be detected with the x-ray in the mammogram. So they're completely different looking at completely different things. So do you need an order for thermography which, like you would for a mammogram? Does a doctor have to direct the screening? No, actually uh, there is no order needed. Everyone can just call and make their own appointment without a doctor's um, referral. The reason is we do not bill insurance. Most insurance companies don't cover thermography as is. If someone has a health savings card or a flexible spending account, they can use that to pay for it. But their insurance, we don't bill their insurance and most insurance regular plans don't pay for it. So that is the reason why they do not need a referral from a doctor because they're considered self-pay. So how often would you come in for screening them? With the breast thermography, it's important to establish a baseline, just like they want to do with a mammogram. So in order to do that, we have the patient come in and have their first screening done, and then three to four months to have a repeat breast screening. And what that does is it gives the doctors a baseline to see how the breast tissue has changed, or hopefully has not changed in that time frame. Breast cancer cells double every 90 days. And so they want to see what your normal variance is in that 90 to 120 days to see if there is any increased activity, any increased vascularity or significant changes. 
once that baseline is created, it should stay stable and consistent forever. So after that should be annual scans. And if there's a change in the annual scan from your previous baseline, that would alert the doctor that there's something going on that needs to be monitored. So after the baseline is created, just an annual exam, kind of like a mammogram. So this sounds like um, a really uh, easy um, piece, uh, peaceful is the word that's coming to mind, but painless is the word to look for. Painless way to uh, get peace of mind uh, on an annual basis. So that's really awesome. Um, are there some tips you would recommend for things we can do at home between screenings to also maintain our peace of mind? Yes, I think self-care is one of the most important steps in preventing any disease, including breast cancer. So things that you can do at home for prevention would be changing out your deodorant. Most people wear toxic deodorant that contains harmful chemicals. And putting that in your underarm is actually just putting it right to the breast area go straight to the lymph nodes, seeps in, goes straight to the lymph nodes, and then gets spread out into the breast tissue. And those harmful chemicals have been proven to cause breast cancer and other illnesses like autoimmune disease. So changing out to a natural deodorant is one very important thing that people can do at home to prevent breast cancer. Another thing would be using essential oils. Essential oils are very common and easy to come by now, but there are certain essential oils that actually are proven to help prevent cancer. Frankincense is one of them, turmeric is another, and lemongrass. So those three I use daily on myself, on my underarms, my lymph node area, and the chest area, because we want to do everything we can to prevent breast cancer cells from being able to thrive. So using essential oils and either some coconut oil or lotion is a great way to do that. Another would be um, lymphatic draining massage. That is something that you definitely want to go to a professional to learn how to do, and they can teach you how to do it at home. It's a very simple and easy process. It's not a deep massage that you know, really gets in and moves things, so you actually really don't even feel it. It's just a very simple, light movement over the lymph nodes to keep them clear, drain all the toxins out of them, and that will really help support your breast health by keeping those lymph areas uh, drained and free of toxins. So what about self exams? Um, doctors often tell their patients to do a self exam, but I know from personal experience, sometimes you're like, um, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Yeah, everything feels okay. So do you have any recommendations for that? Yes, yeah, self-exams are so important, but so overlooked. Many women are in the same boat. They say, well, I don't know what I'm looking for, or I have lumpy breasts. Everything feels lumpy to me. I don't know the difference. So knowing your breast tissue is so important in breast health. Doing monthly self-exams properly is the key. So when you're taking a shower and you're just washing yourself, that's not a proper breast exam. There are techniques that you need to know, um, positions you need to be in, in order to really feel deep down into the breast tissue to see if there's any changes. And I was fortunate enough to meet Dr. V, the breast cancer conqueror, and learn about this amazing tool she's created. It's called My Breast Friend. And what it is, is like a silicone breast that has lumps in it. One side is normal, so the lumpy fibrocystic breast side, and then the other side would show concerning areas. And there's a video that goes with it that actually teaches you how to do a proper breast exam. And you can learn on My Breast Friend the silicone shaped breast, um, I don't I guess the silicone shaped breast that you can get, that you can figure out what is normal, what is abnormal, so then you can learn how to do the self-exam properly and um, 
notice the changes in your own breast tissue because self exams are actually the best way for prevention because you can find the difference in your breast and see the difference. You only see your doctor once a year. He doesn't have, or he or she doesn't have your breast memorized. They, they see millions of, hundreds of people, thousands of people every day or every year. They can't remember what your normal is. You know what your normal is. So instead of being scared of doing breast exams, we have this great tool, the My Breast Friend, that can help people learn how to do it and not be afraid to fill lumps. Some lumps are okay. Um, but learn how to do it properly so that they can see if there is a concern at home. So is that something you have there in your office if you were interested in either seeing it or purchasing it from you? Yes, I do. I have them here in the office available for people to see, look at, to figure out what it is, see if it's something that they're interested in, and then they can buy it and it's theirs. And the video comes with it and the My Breast Friend has uh, special casing and you can use it every single month to help you learn how to do your own proper self-exam. That's really awesome and innovative. I love that idea. So thank you so much for sharing all that information with us today, Katie. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. It's been my pleasure. So if you'd like to connect with Katie and Thermography of Brevard, you can visit them on their website, thermographyofbrevard.com or you can give Katie a call at 321-312-0363. They're located in Melbourne and also have a location in Bureau Beach. Thanks again, and everyone be well, stay connected.